the view out here, this is our office. Set up for the day, we bring the med gear down, flags go up, we let everyone know we're here. We are first responders on the water. You don't know what you're getting called out to until the phone rings. I would be Concession Bay. And the calls could range from someone who's broken down to the serious distress, taken on water or fire on board. All right, we have a vessel outside Fox Trap Marina, three person on board. We will get dressed up, put on all our PPE, get out on the water. <laughs> Dry box. Perfect. So I've actually seen a lot of social media posts. That's kind of how I heard about the program. Pictures and experiences kind of interested me to apply for the program. I couldn't wait to start get some good training and be able to help people. I was really happy. I joined this program to help people on the water. I've always had an interest in the first responder side of things. I was really excited to try and build some skills. Hearing about the Coast Guard, people get to drive fast boats and you get to do search and rescue. We need to be ready for any scenario that comes up. So every day is training. We need to be prepared and proficient in every situation. The instructors want to push you so that you can become your best. They want to put you in stressful situations so that when you're out here in the real world, you have the tools to tackle any situation that may arise. We have an essentially an army backing us up. From the Coast Guard auxiliary vessels to the lifeboats, the Coast Guard is standing behind us when we go out. I'm gonna come out this way a bit, okay? It's definitely intense because we train for the worst case scenarios so that we can be best prepared. It makes me feel really proud that I'm out in the water. I get to help communities, voters on the water, help keep everyone safe. I would say definitely apply, even if it's out of your comfort zone. It's a really rewarding summer job. I'm always very proud of the students as they grow through, but uh, you know, I always tell them it's more important that they're proud of themselves and the service that we provide for the, uh, the boaters and the Canadians on water. Having the IRB here, it's a lot of reassurance and comfort to all of our boating members. My experience so far has been quite incredible. I still can't believe this is a summer job. We're actually getting paid to do this kind of stuff. The Coast Guard is meant to protect people, any kind of weather, day or night. When you're representing the Coast Guard, there's a large sense of pride there. It puts a big smile on your face. So one of the best feelings is the gratification of going out and helping someone. Being able to bring them back ashore, they're safe with their families. That gratification is what really brings me back to Coast Guard every year. It's important work that we do and it's, it's good to know at the end of the day that you, you did something to help people who were in need. One thing you'll hear a lot during training is that this is the best summer job ever. Everyone says it but it's very much true. It's definitely the best summer job. Essential Coast Guard Radio, this is Charlie Golf 296 heading back to Lompon.